Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, New Black Unicorn. This is your girl, Tammy. So this is kind of like my welcome back video. I just want to show you guys how I really do my makeup, how long it takes me to do my makeup, the products that I'm using. Um, and I definitely use all affordable products in here, minus like one or two things. So I really hope you enjoy. Stick around to the very end. Bye, you guys. I'm finally back recording. Um, I know I took a break from YouTube, but I didn't necessarily take a break from wearing makeup, of course. Um, I just wanted to make sure I was, sorry, I'm just getting my face ready. Just make sure I was doing the right things for my channel that I wanted to do and I didn't get caught up in like the YouTube recording world. Um, so right now what I'm spraying on my face is the Up All Night Makeup Setting Spray. And you can get this from like TJ Maxx. It's $6.99. The products I'm going to be using today are going to be affordable products because when I went to military training, um, one of my friends, Gomez, Gomez, she's going to kill me for saying her name wrong. Um, she was like, girl, I love your channel, but we can't afford that stuff. She's a teacher. So she was just like, hey, use some affordable stuff. I said, yes, ma'am, I will. So first what I do is I've already done my um, morning routine care. So after I do my morning routine care, and that's pretty much washing my face, um, toning my face, and I apply a lotion. Then when I come into my little room, I do not have a makeup room. This is just the spare bedroom and my vanity is in here. I go ahead and spray, and spray my face. After I spray my face, I start doing my brows. Um, I guess today I can use this. That's what it says. The Charlotte Tivory Brow. No, this says Christy Brinkley. I don't know who that is, but it was at TJ Maxx when I picked up the spray, and it was only like $2. And so I am legit getting ready for work. So I'm just going to be speeding through this. So one of the things about recording, which kind of takes a long time, is not necessarily recording the video, it's editing the video. So I have decided that I'm not going to spend a long time editing. I mean, it ain't going to be no poof and stuff is done. No, you're going to see this happen in real time. Real time. Um, I did get a comment saying that they really did love that I use natural lighting. You know, somebody said they don't really take a lot of selfies, but they are a truck driver. And so they always in the natural lighting. Shout out to you. I'm going to put your name down here i can't remember what your handle was but i just really i have really really appreciated the comments and just everyone kind of the likes the watches and everything as you can tell the brows are just my brows look good i have really thick brows so i don't have to do a lot of filling in and i also do my own brows unless i have really messed up as far as maintenance and then i have to go get them threaded but I usually try not to because they usually try to make my brows super thin and I hate it. So once I get there, I can clean it up if I want to. But honestly, when I'm in a rush, this is what you're going to get. I will be trying something new as far as a primer. I've been hearing that the Calamine Lotion is a lot better for your face than the milk of magnesia now i would like to say i never tried milk of magnesia i would never tell nobody to put that on that face because it is a digestive product and i just don't know where that even came from necessarily so let me use one of these brushes I'm just going to use this brush from ColourPop to kind of put some on here and then put it on my face Hopefully this doesn't damage my face. I'll let you know. But this this lotion that's been used as primer is supposed to help with oily skin because I do have oily skin, like Crisco skin, like not just T-zone, like all over my face. So if this can help and it's a lot better than milk and magnesia, I'm willing to try. I have tons and tons of primers just because once my face get used to a particular primer, then I have to use another one. I can't keep using the same one. I have to put it in rotation. 
And as you can tell, I'm just slapping this on my face, you guys. Like legit, I am really getting ready for work. So this is what you're getting. Now, one thing I will encourage everyone to get is a fan. You can get any type of fan from Amazon, um, beauty supply store. If you buy one, this kind of helps you with the time that it's going to take for you to do your makeup. After I do that, the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Maybelline Superstay in the shade. What shade is this? 356 Warm Coconut. And I think in another video, I kind of swatched a lot of my foundations. So you can be able to see that. And I start off with very little product. And that was one thing we talked about. You don't have to go put tons and tons of product on your face. I know everyone is tempted to do it the YouTube way, but you're gonna waste a lot of product. So if you are buying high-end makeup, you're gonna spend $30 on a bottle or something and then run out in a matter of like a month. Let me turn up my lights a little bit. Just to make sure you can see. So this is a really, really good match for me. Like a really good match. And this is a full coverage foundation. So what that means is it's gonna cover up all of your imperfections. And which I do not mind any of my hyperpigmentation. I don't mind even having oily skin. It's just inconvenient when I, you know, want my makeup to last all day. Make sure you're kind of bringing it down. One thing that I do want my channel, oh my goodness, y'all. That little calamine stuff really does make this look mad. Wow. Um, one thing I want to focus on on my channel is just kind of positivity. Um, when I'm looking at some of these YouTube videos, it seems very negative to me. To me, just some of the language that's being used, the way people talk about themselves, is so derogatory. And I just want there to be a place where you have some positivity. And you hear people say like, I like my skin, you know, I like this. Yeah, I wear makeup, but I don't necessarily dislike my skin or anything. Makeup is just fun to me. So the concealer I'm using is the L'Oreal uh, Paris Infallible Full Wear. It's in the shade 415 Honey. So this one is more so near my skin tone. So I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And this one's in the shade Golden. It's a lot brighter. And I'll just put a little bit on because this is an everyday wear. So if you just going to school, you go, you driving, you don't want to put a whole lot. And so even now, I could have put a little bit less product than what I did. And so now I'm going to, this is not necessarily contour, more so bronzing because this isn't that dark. This is the Makeup Revolutions uh, foundation stick in the shade F16. I'm going to show you. It's really not dark at all. And I like that. And I'm gonna go in with my brush. The brush is by e.l.f. It's the small stipple brush. You can get this from Walmart. This is what I use for like my contour or like, you know, if even if it's not a contour, I, I use this to kind of blend that out. And when I blend that out, I'm like pushing it in and up because you don't wanna drag this down your face. And yes, I'm really moving this fast because I've done this several times. But if you don't really wear makeup, just kind of take your time if you have it. If you don't have time, perfect one thing and then keep moving. You know what I mean? Like if you can put on your foundation really good or if you can do your brows really good, perfect that one thing and then keep kind of practicing. Makeup is all about practicing. I didn't start off really good at anything like that. I'm literally a regular smiggler, diggler girl, and I just learned how to do my own makeup. So this is a real technique brush. This is the contour brush. I use this to blend out my concealer. And what I do is I spray some of my Up All Night spray onto the brush so it's not dry. That, to me, it kind of helps blend out the product. I don't typically use a beauty blender or a beauty sponge for that matter. I really love brushes. And if you see me looking off, like my mirror is like 
way behind there. I really love brushes. Don't ask me why. Not saying the other ones aren't good, but I just love brushes. One thing I will say, I have fine lines. That means I have lines underneath my eyes. Um, make sure you hydrate underneath your eyes. You're supposed to hydrate, period, but definitely make sure you hydrate underneath your eyes. One thing I use to hydrate underneath my eyes is going to be the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. It's for your eye. And they have um, hyaluronic acid, acid in it. And you can get this from Target, Walmart, all the above. So all the products that I'm listing, you can legit get from Walmart. Minus the Up All Night Spray, you will probably have to go to like a TJ Maxx or Ross. So, like I said, I appreciate everyone for the comments, the follows, even when I really wasn't posting. But this is going to be the new style of my videos. Like, I'm, I'm not going to be doing a lot of editing. Because I feel like it takes away from the fun and the process. So by the time I record a video, it's going to take me a while because I do work full time. Like, this is not my job, YouTube. Not saying anything wrong with that for the people who do it, but this is not my job. So it takes me a while to come back and actually, you know, edit a video and things like that. Now for the powder... I don't think I have any affordable powders, but what I will say is I was going to pick up the Cody Airspring powder and maybe I'll post a picture somewhere and I really couldn't find the shade that I wanted. So that is a good alternative. And again, I'm going to spray my brush. Cody Airspring, Cody Air, Lord y'all, Cody Airspring powder is is a good powder um i know some people was comparing it to the laura mercier powder and other powders so you can definitely use that and another thing if you see somebody on youtube use a product you don't necessarily have it does not mean you have to go buy it you can use what you have now if you run it out and you just decide you know what i'm gonna go buy this powder like okay cool that's awesome but really truly if you already have some stuff that works for you please use it because it took me a long time to realize a lot of these beauty gurus they use filters you know they add it and so it may look flawless on them but in actuality they're making it look flawless and it doesn't actually look like that and i i have unfollowed a beauty guru who's pretty popular i guess because i just felt like it was just too much. It was too much editing. It it was it was just too much. Like it was no way in the world anyone was gonna ever make those looks because it was so edited. And what I mean by edit is like the smooth filters or people change the lighting to make it look darker or to look a certain way. And at the end of the day, you're not gonna be able to make your makeup look like that. And so that's another thing that I want my channel to focus on, like what your makeup gonna look in real life, okay? In real life, what will your makeup look like? Minus the filters, minus all that crap that they do, this is what your makeup is gonna look like. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Maybelline Superstay Full Courage um, Powder. It's in the shade 362 Truffle. Now, I will try to list all of the products, but if I put this video out and the products aren't listed yet, it doesn't mean I'm not going to list it. Just give me a little minute. First, I just want to make sure I'm getting the videos out to you guys. Like, you are getting the videos. And so, in real life, I think I'm at like 14 minutes right now. It may take me maybe like 20 minutes to do my face for work. And that is not including... If I do an eyeshadow look, which you can be real lazy and do an eyeshadow look with just one color, which I may actually show you. Now for bronzer, the closest thing I had to drugstore for a bronzer is going to be the Cover Girl, well, Cover Queen collection. 
And this one was so popular. Everybody and their mama. Have y'all ever noticed how on YouTube everyone be like, this is holy grail, holy grail. And you never see it again. And I'm thinking to myself like, how is this so holy grail for like one week? And then next thing you know, we're on to the next bronzer. Like, can I have time to enjoy this holy grail product before you tell me this product is holy grail? I ain't saying you gotta buy it. But no, they are saying to buy it. It's just, it's so easy to get caught up on YouTube. Like seriously, I was one of those people. And no, nobody forced me to buy any of these products, but influencing is a real thing. I see why they get paid the big bucks. And so when I'm trying to save money, I do not watch product reviews. I only watch tutorials because I'm gonna be less likely to buy when I'm just watching a tutorial on a product I already have. Key thing, I already have a product, so I know I'm not gonna buy anything. Now, this is what I was gonna show you using one shade. So you can use the same bronzer that you just used to kind of bronze up the face and just put it on the eyelid. Because we are trying to get out of the door. And even still, you don't have to do this. Like if you already put, you know, when you blend out your concealer and you put some on your eyelid, you can you can literally go out the door like that. I'm only doing it for the people who have a little extra time. Like I have a little extra time, don't get me wrong. But if you only had like 10 minutes, first of all, if you have 10 minutes, you're gonna put some mascara on, you may get some some brow stuff, and then you're gonna call it a day because you, you need to be outside of that door, okay? But for everybody else that woke up on time and a little early, we can play around a little bit, okay? All righty. And that's it. Boom. And I know right now this looks a little bright. And so I'm going to turn down my light so you can really see. Well, it don't look like bright, that bright to me in person. Let me turn it down a little bit. I guess it is a little bright. All righty. I'm like legit almost done already. So I'm gonna go back to my brows because I did mess it up. That's why some people like doing their brows after they apply their foundation and things like that. I don't know, I just like to get it out the way a little bit just so I know like what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Paris Concealer and just clean this up a little bit. And the brush I'm using is by Morphe. It's the M421 brush. But honestly, if you have any type of flat brush, just use what you have. You're gonna hear that a lot on my channel. Use what you have because you'll waste a lot of money trying to keep up with the new products on YouTube. And you're gonna realize like it's not even necessary because your favorite gurus don't even really use that stuff. They use other products. And so I've equated beauty gurus to, I don't know how old this crowd is, but back in the day, and, and don't act like I'm that young. Back in the day when you went through department stores, you had people trying to spray you with stuff, saying, oh, come look here, come over here and sample things. Well, to me, those ladies left the department stores and it came on to YouTube. And they figured that, you know what, if I build a relationship, if I make people comfortable, they'll they'll trust me. And with that trust, I can sell stuff. And sure enough, they were absolutely correct. We didn't know what hit us. I'm gonna take my Up All Night spray, and it's literally called Up All Night. I think it's kind of like a knockoff to the Urban Decay setting spray, and it's really good. And I'm going to spray my face just because I have put a lot of powder on there. And use my fan. All right. Eyes done. So mascara. The drugstore mascara that is really, really good. Like, this mascara is bomb. It's by All May. It's the Mega Value Mascara. It's red, it's in the shade black. It looks like this. And this is what the wand looks like. 
And so when I put on mascara, I look up, okay? Up. Because I don't want it to get all over the lid, nor all over the bottom of my eyes where I put my concealer. Sorry if I'm blinding you guys with my mirror, but this is legit what I do. I look up. And then I go in with another coat. And I do have oily lids, so if you saw me set it with powder, that's why. I should have put some of that calamine on it. See, that worked too. But, boom. And so that is how you can apply your mascara. See? Y'all. It's good. And this is, this only costs I think like five dollars, five or six or seven, five to seven range. Um, it's definitely a lot cheaper than that hourglass um, mascara that people are trying to say you need this, you need this. No, I don't. I don't need that. I don't need that. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Like sometimes that's how you have to like when you're watching these videos, you have to think to yourself. I don't need that. What you trying to sell me? Because at the end of the day, they, they are selling you products. That's that's their job, to sell you products. So I am gonna apply some lashes. The lashes that I am applying, oh, I don't know what the box, here the box. It's by Lily Lashes. So I know you may be thinking, well, Lily Lashes is not drugstore. No, it's not drugstore, but it is affordable. So I got these lashes when they was on sale and it's in a style LA and they were only five dollars five dollars is affordable for lashes okay so while i wait for that to dry uh, go ahead and put on my head wrap so for the past two months i haven't been wearing my hair out i've been wearing wraps and hijabs and different things no i did not convert to muslim no i do not have anything wrong with muslims but it was just a personal choice that I decided, like, I really don't want to wear my hair out. Just kind of protect my own energy. So I'm gonna try to attempt to put these lashes on. Although lately, I will say I'm proud of myself. I've been getting them on. Well, hold on now. I'm about to see these struggles. So I pinch right here, and then I go in. And put them on. I try to start near the, the ends. And then told you that to push that in the middle. That's okay. As long as the ends are now, you can adjust. So from here, I can like kind of pinch it. Boom, we got a lash on. Oh, wait, my other lash almost dropped. All right, so I got both lashes on. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of blush. I do take my my blush up a little bit higher. And the blush I'm using is by this lady called Jo Michelle. She's a makeup artist who started her own line. So this isn't high end. And she has a YouTube. I don't know what it is. And I definitely applied too much blush on that side. If you apply too much blush, don't freak out. Shoot. Take your powder brush and just go over it. And blend it out some. Now for highlights. Let's see if I have a highlight. I do. So this highlighter is so old, y'all. Look at this. 
is by Black Radiance in the shade Ginger Snap. And I'm going in with my, what brush is this? Milani brush, this little brush right here. And when you apply a highlight, what you wanna do is kinda of look, look to the side and then you put it on the high point. And you can bring it over just to make it all connect and boom. You do not have to go out looking like a disco ball. Unless you want to, that's your thing. But if you wearing this for everyday workflow, it just depends on where you work in. Boom. Boom. Mm. I woke up like this. I did put a little. Alrighty. So highlight is on. Now, if I'm running short on time, I just throw on the gloss. You can throw on any gloss you, your heart desire. Any gloss at all. Oh, you wanna do a matte look, lip, lip? Do a, do a matte lip. So now what I'm gonna do is just respray my setting spray. I am not stingy with the setting spray, okay? And so, yeah, that completes the look. So now all I do is just, I do wear nose rings, and so I am gonna go ahead and put one on. Sometimes I do leave the nose ring on while I do my makeup, but then sometimes I don't feel like going through the hassle of wiping it off. So sometimes I just wait, but then again, don't, please don't mess up the makeup on your nose. Like open it as big as you can. And then just press down once you have it on. So boom. And then press down. Closing it. And that's it. Thanks for coming back. Definitely there is going to be more videos coming soon. And like I said, this is going to be just style. Not a lot of editing, not a little. Nah, um, we're going to kick it. I'm going to show you how long it takes. Then we're going to do this together. So thank you for coming. I do appreciate every last one of you. And I'll see you again. New Black Unicorn.